In this video, we continue cruising around Culebra. We have an absolute fuel nightmare, and the girls show you how they stay fit on the boat. I'm Bobby, and welcome to Sailing Doodles. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. In the previous video, we left Puerto Rico behind and sailed to Culebra, where we enjoyed the beautiful water and scenery. Are you ready? Are you ready in a paddleboard? We've had a pretty uh, uneventful day so far, uh, mostly just kind of, I think we're covering for some hangover type stuff, but uh, we're going to go try paddleboarding now. This is the foil board that you'll get to see later on. We don't have a fin for it, so hopefully she makes it. I don't know. No, I won't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to work too well. Where do you want to go? Wherever. Lead them. Sure. We spent the afternoon paddle boarding and swimming in the beautiful crystal clear waters around Culebra and Bahia Tamarindo. Yeah, he went away. The turtle poked his head up, saw me, and then went back underwater. A little shyer than that one yesterday. Oh my God. Come on, we have named the uh, little floating island Oscar. Don't ask us how we got to that. It just, <laughs> just kind of happened. So they're pulling in Oscar. We're just going to keep him back here uh, while we get ready to go. I got him change some fuel tanks around and then we're going to get ready to go. So the forward tank, I have not been able to get the cap open. It's like, I don't know, like rusted shut. Tried very hard several times. Uh, put some oil in there, like some, you know, break up, you know, the penetrating oil and stuff hasn't worked, um, but I can move fuel to that tank. So I'm just gonna move fuel from the aft tank to that forward tank. And then, so every time I fill up, I'll just have to have it filled up from other tanks first. And then, I don't know, maybe eventually I can find a way to get the cap open, but. I changed the fuel returns to the tank I wanted to fill. And while I was down there, why not check the engine oil? Oscar's been put away. We've stored everything that might fall downstairs, locked all the doors. Engines are warming up, and we are ready to pull off this mooring and go to Ensenada Honda. Let's do it. Is that where we're going? Ensenada Honda. Let's all go. right, we're ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So I am just going to use my throttles here to guide her on top of the mooring, and she'll pull it up. Oh, wrong one. Ooh, wrong one. My bad. It was a quick trip down and around in the protection of Bahia and Sonata. I got the power, baby! That I'm not being true, but they don't have a clue, cause this is me when I cut out. So then this hooks onto the chain, and then this goes around and like hooks onto itself to keep it on there. This is actually for a 3H chain, so it's really not the right size, but... Our Mantis Marine Bridal was really serving us well. Sid's gonna help me get the dinghy down and if I can get it started, I don't know. We'll see. Then we'll go to launch. All right, uh, we could not get the dinghy motor started. Uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I don't think it's going to spark for some reason. And that makes sense because I think it wasn't running at full. I think it was only getting one spark to one spark plug before, and now it's getting zero spark to zero spark plug. So we're going to paddle board. Uh, so we're going over to that dock right there. Here we go. I think we have wind in our favor. <laughs> it's going to be fun coming back. Behind the mask, but I'm smiling. Yeah. 
Uh, so we made it. We paddleboard to shore. It might be a little harder getting back considering we have to go into the wind. But let's go find see if, if anything's open for lunch. A lot of places here are closed, so for COVID still. On Google it said they were open, but I don't know. So. Oh, I love all these colorful buildings. That is the Calibra Platte. This whole area is the ferry terminal. You rent some cars and some golf carts, stuff drive around the island. Um, you know, there'll be two or 300 people a day normally coming on the ferries with COVID. I guess that's off a little. A lot, most of the restaurants and stuff are still closed, so kind of a bummer. I will not let us fade away. It's not a prize. With all the restaurants still for takeout only, there wasn't much to do on the island, so we decided to head back to the boat so the girls could get their work out in. Good entertainment. Yeah, so we were having problems with this aft generator, like running for a little while and shutting down. I checked the fuel filter itself, like I looked at it and it didn't look too bad, but I decided to open up the bottom of the Raycor and look at this just disgusting fuel. And then there's like so much sludge in the bottom of the Raycor, I'm gonna have to try to clean it out somehow. Uh, but that's got to be what the problem was, which is good. That means it's easy to fix, but man, I mean, I need to have that, that aft tank, uh, cause it's 300 gallon tank that lives under here that I'm going to have to have polished. I mean, if that's the way it is coming into the, it means that tank is just nasty. So, uh, got to find somebody who does fuel polishing. It's just gross. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh. oh, that's so gross. Look at that. That is just ugh. so gross. Disgusting. I mean, I've never seen fuel that bad. You know, this is the aft generator tank. I mean, it's probably sat unused for many years. And, oh. But I mean, that's a good thing. Hopefully that was the problem. I mean, it's gotta be, uh, I couldn't imagine with this generator. So now I just gotta clean it up, reprime it, and hopefully it'll work, change the filter. Well, we've all been pretty good at taking turns and helping each other cook some dinner. And tonight it's Bobby's turn. What are you cooking, good looking? Steak and potatoes. So got I got the potatoes. potatoes there, and then the steak has been marinating. Uh, Sydney is on her own tonight because she's doing Ooh. the uh, plant-based stuff. Yes. So all good though. She can have some potatoes though. So mashed, mashed potatoes. Yeah, that sounds really good. And I'm just working on my next video, getting that done. And we're having kind of a chill night. Last night was fun and yeah. crazy. Yeah, made a little dance party. <laughs> all right, here we go. Right on there. Our tongs broke today, so going old school with pork and stuff. <laughs> and um, pro tip: use the blender. Yeah, for the mashed potatoes. Use the there blender you know. thingy Absolutely. for the mashed potatoes. They Electric come out, blender. Look at that. That is look great. Wow. Mm. That's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Beautiful job. Yep. Ten out of ten. Should be good. Uh, sorry, Sid, you got your veggies. Hey, she's got leftover tacos that actually look pretty good. All right, let's do it. I opened a bottle of wine. Ooh, fancy. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful job, Bobby. Yeah. I must say, you've done well. How is your... Uh... Don't look at my plant-based option, it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's leftovers, baby. So you know what this means? I guess we're on dishes tonight. You're we, on dishes. I, I'm on dishes because you made. Yeah. I'm on dishes too. I'll help. We're rotating here. Some big old tarpon on here. Look at those guys. Yeah, I don't. I just threw a piece in. They didn't eat it. Really? There's like I can't even count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab the seven. little chicken thing again. When you throw chicken to them, they're not interested. 
but big old tarpon. <laughs>